I've just put the bucket down to go fetch something and these guys are just going crazy. What is it about sheep nuts? And where's number four? <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to Farm Friday. Don't run over the cat now. That way, we're going that way. Chase, we're going this way. <laughs> this week we talked about getting a sheep shearer in because it's time to shear the sheep and they're starting to shed their hair, their fleece. <laughs> Come on Cory, you're a spinner, you should know that. Obviously mum and dad will want the lion's share of it but I'm sure there's going to be plenty otherwise because we do have a sheep that need shearing so stay tuned and I'll keep you updated. I'm not going to be on the farm for much longer, I have a plan to move to Bristol in a few weeks. That's all kind of imminent and it could just be that one week there just won't be Farm Friday anymore. I will obviously keep you updated. Won't mean the end of Farm Friday videos completely but I may not have enough footage to do weekly things. So if you have any thoughts on what you would like to see then do let me know. I'm sure that puppy training will continue apace. Chase is nearly old enough to start his sheepdog training. I'm not entirely sure what form that's going to take but as always I'll keep you updated and we've got loads of really exciting things to look forward to. Right, we're just on our way to feed the sheep. You can hear them calling. <laughs> They've taken to just calling at random times of the day, hoping that they're gonna get fed. Anyway, what, what will happen is, if you can hear me over the sheep, the hens will come charging along in a minute because they love sheep nuts. I don't know what it is about sheep nuts. I'm just gonna spread the food out and then I'll start filming again. Maybe I was wrong about the hens today. <laughs> We've just arrived sort of at the beach, <laughs> but Chase has been very sick in the car. This dog has got the worst car sickness. He throws up every time you put him in the car. And I'm at a loss, we're at a loss. So if anybody has any ideas on how to cope with dog car sickness, then please let me know, because I am really bored of cleaning the car. <laughs> I have been really stupid and forgotten waterproof shoes, because I was going to bring my wellies, and then in all the fuss of getting chased into the car, um, I forgot them. So my feet might get a bit sandy, a bit wet, that's all right. I think he's really unsure about the sound of the waves. <laughs> He keeps on stopping and just listening. I've successfully managed to time this for high tide. <laughs> Not something I thought I should check. Serves me right. <laughs> Go on. Okay, so because I've royally mucked this up and we can't take Chase for a 10 minute walk, <laughs> I am going to take him along the coast path to St Anchorite's Rock. I've never taken him along the coast path before, I hope he behaves himself. Look at all the bluebells. We're at the next beach along the coastal path. This is Mothercombe Private Beach, which is only open to the public on certain days. Luckily one of those days is today, although I think the locals don't really pay attention to that. <laughs> um, it's a really weird day. It's really, really hot, but it's cloudy, making my photos look really atmospheric, which is lovely. <laughs> I knew he'd like to beat. <laughs> I think he's getting a bit irritated because they're sand fleas that are coming up 
<laughs> so he's just been charging around the beach. trying to take chase along the footpath is that because the tide is high and I'm not wearing waterproof shoes I can't get to the coastal path. Uh, I've tried to walk along this kind of wall bit but because I've got sand on my feet it's really slippery and I don't want to damage myself so I'm going to hang about a bit and see if the tide goes down slightly and if not then this has truly been the most fail of a dog walk that I have ever been on. We found a ball and I'm throwing it for him and you should see how much sand this guy has on his tongue. <laughs> I think he's had enough. <laughs> this guy is panting like a steam train. <laughs> We've lost the ball so we're just going to head home now. I've already been away for a couple of hours so I need to get back and carry on with doing some stuff. But he enjoyed the beach and I think we'll be back depending on the car sickness. You guys won't be able to see but down at the bottom of the field here there are two black little tails wandering about up and down in the ditch down by the fence and I'm gonna go show you what they get up to because they disappear off and then they come back later and they are just filthy, absolutely filthy. I think they're down there somewhere because I can hear the pheasants going crazy. <laughs> ah, where's Kariba gone? Hello! Don't you jump at me. Come on, let's go get some food. If you like the video, give it a big old thumbs up. If you would like to see more of the farm, then do subscribe and I will see you guys all next week. Bye. <laughs>